Hi, my name is Taylor, and both of my articles, the Popular Press article and the Scientific article, were on electroconvulsive therapy. So, what is electroconvulsive therapy? Well, the simplest definition would be um, when the patient, well, first the patient's put under anesthesia, nowadays anyways, and small electrical currents are passed through electrodes into the brain, and this induces a brief seizure and kind of changes the chemistry of the brain. So my first article was my popular press article by Katz Nelson published in 2015. And she argued that electroconvulsive therapy is known to heal um, crippling depression, but now it's being found to help cure a low sexual desire, addiction, anxiety, schizophrenia and brain simulation and she uses the term TDCS which stands for transcranial direct current stimulation and then my scientific article was by Shen et al in 2017 and it's called a lasting change in trazodone response after non-conclusive electroshock therapy so Non-conclusive means no conclusion, no end. So after you get the therapy once, pretty much like a few months later, you'll have to get it again for the effects to keep working. And trazodone is an antidepressant. So this study was a case study, which means it was a special situation. And so those case studies are not relatable, but they're really interesting to read about. And in this case study, it was a man with senile depression, which is basically late life depression, and the electroconvulsive therapy helped actually enhance his antidepressant. So the audiences differ between these two articles um, by how easy they are to understand. So for the popular press article, it's more directed towards the general public and Keywords are underlined in case you don't know the definition. You can click the hyperlink and learn what that word means so you can comprehend the article better. And um, an example would be like the word optimism. They have hyperlinked in case you don't know what that means. And for the scientific article, these um, they expect you to have a higher education in math and science. No words are defined in the article. And you have to also be able to read their data charts and tables. So their arguments. The popular press article argues that electric convulsive therapy can help more disorders than crippling depression. And the scientific article argues that electric convulsive therapy can enhance your already existing antidepressant. And I think it's important that both of these articles advocate for electric convulsive therapy because nowadays people are very afraid of it due to its stigma and now you, people are put under anesthesia so there's no pain or remembering the procedure but like <laughs> movies like One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest by um, Milos Forman, Jack Nicholson gets this therapy in the movie and he's thriving in pain and he's in a zombie-like state afterwards but this is not what's happening nowadays. So the evidence from both of these articles, the popular press article primarily gets its evidence from interviews with doctors, scientists, neurologists, ECT specialists, and psychiatrists and researchers. So Mark George was a doctor who contributed to this article and he said, these technologies provide ways to go focally into the brain regions we want to manipulate in ways that medication never could. And the evidence from the scientific article that the trazodone was enhanced by electroconvulsive therapy was um, from their experimental data that was recorded during the study in graphs, charts, and writing supporting their hypothesis. So for example, the effects before the um, ECT, he was very delirious and very depressed, but after the electroconvulsive therapy, he had none of these symptoms. 
So does the popular press article reflect the field? I would say yes it does because many ideas from several professions in the field were included in the article to help write it. Does anybody have any questions? All right, thank you.